Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. James Benning here once again for those that love sound music and stuff. Um, I'm a little bit excited today for Mr. Kirk Hunter has very kindly bestowed upon me a pre-launch copy of Kinetic Woodwinds. Now, if you know Kinetic Strings and Kinetic Brass, I'm guessing it's the same. Um, so what I thought I'd do is a Let's Play video. So the idea of a Let's Play video is I take the plug in, I take the instrument and I make sure it's installed and I make sure it's loaded and then we play together for the first time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get on with playing with kinetic woodwinds. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, if this goes a bit funny and bright and I start going darker and, and lighter, uh, the sun's doing funny things and my exposure lock is being weird. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, for those that don't know uh, the kinetic motion, uh, you are late. Name the film. Um, Sorry. Uh, this is Kinetic Woodwinds. Uh, it is, uh, it, uh, you need the full version of contact for this instrument. Um, I've put it in my quick load. Um, so you get your individual instruments. You get oboes, flutes, clownets, bassoons, uh, and then you get a low ram version of the full thing and a full thing. So let's go for the full thing. Oh, I have gone dark. Wow. There we go. Is that better? But so um let's go for the full thing shall we it's green so strings are blue brass is red this is green and shall we hear what it sounds like straight out of the box here we go excellent mostly sensitive Love it, love it. So um, let me take you through the GUI. Um, you have four little timelines. You have flutes on the top, oboes, clarinets, bassoons. Um, I'll talk about these things when we go into the individual instruments, but basically this turns on and off your sequencer. So that's off. So now it's just, you've got playable shorts across the range down here. So these denote the ranges, are, but I will tell you about that in a minute. Uh, staccato, you have just staccato for this. So it's a staccato woodwind engine. Good. Uh, accents for your um, sequencer, but we'll talk about that. Tighten and broaden. This is quite tight. Broaden it. This is slightly different. subtle uh you can save and load presets uh these are your presets here well let's go pirates and the, i think they're pretty much the, i think they are the same for each engine so you can mix and match the whole thing but i think we might have to do that at the end oh yeah that's a. Uh, that's a Bridgerton Downton Abbey moment. Oh, Lady Windermere. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, note value. Uh, these are obviously the loads. That's very long. Uh, minims, crotchets, quarter notes, sorry. Uh, sixteenths, eight, sorry, eighths, sixteenths, thirty twos. And you have triplets up here. I will talk about triplets um, on the flutes, I think, when we get to it. Uh, three, four. Four four, uh, information bar, very useful. Um, MIDI drag and drop. Let's go MIDI mid drag and drop straight away. What you do, so MIDI drag and drop. Uh, what you do is you press that to arm it, and then you play. Done. Bit of rubbish. Uh, press it again. Then you drag and drop wherever you want to do it. So it's basically recorded your sequences for you. If you see, oh, isn't that good? Um, and you can get another library to play it for you if you want. That is the generosity of the thing. Um, big fan of MIDI drag and drop. Um, uh, your CC um, assigners, all very useful. Your mixer page uh, down here, 
Very, very cool. Um, should I talk about Mixer Page now? No, um, I think I think I'll talk about the Mixer Page uh, later once I've talked about the individual instruments. So I think, without further ado, let's load up a single version, a single instant of flutes. And we can talk about um, the timeline. Okay. Superman. So you see that's the sequencer. If you turn it off again, you just get playable shorts, which is very nice. Now this little button, if it's on, it'll play uninterrupted all of these regions. If you turn it off, it'll just play this highlighted one. Repeat. Turn it on. See what I mean? Uh, good staccato. So these are accents. Let's um, actually, obviously, you can do whatever you like and make different uh, rhythms. Uh, let me show you the accents. So no accent. Let's turn it on to uh, quavers. Turn on to an accent. Accent every, let's go every four. So let's make it dramatic to make sure it's obvious. Yeah, see what I mean? Uh, accent every two. Cool, huh? Uh, broaden and tighten, we've done. Do it slightly higher. Broaden it. Oh, you can hear that one. Anyway, um, uh, with these flutes, as with the, the first instruments in the strings and brass, you get the octave um, option. Just playing a single C, just playing the octave above it. Isn't that fun? Um, these are your range sliders. So on the keyboard, if I go low range, it goes all the way lower. If it goes higher, yep. So that is very useful, and I'll show you why when we've got a full patch. Um, it, it basically just makes it quite easy to play all in one. Right, so uh, next thing, most important on this bit, triplets. You see the threes here? And this is your triplet range all the way down, so I could have the whole flutes play triplets. Dun, 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 dun. Let's tighten it. So those are your triplets. Now let me just range it up here. So the triplets, no triplets. And then this says uh, E4, which I'm just about to play. Yeah, let's lower range. F sharp four. No triplets. See what I mean? So, uh, depending on how high you go, it suddenly kicks in. Polyrhythm's fun. Um, good. Yeah. So that's fairly uh, cool. Uh, three, four, 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 depending on your door, and obviously it follows your door. So, um, these are your regions. You can uh, edit to your heart's content. Look, you can even do this. Um, let's get rid of you. Um, let's push you over here. So we're going to put it all the way down here. So I think you've got, I think you've got up to 64 for each region, haven't you? Something like that. Quite a lot. So you can, uh, let's go over here. And then, top, top me off. It's quite fun. And if you like that, you just save it, blah, blah, blah. Save pattern. Easy. Uh, you can, of course, assign different patterns to here. Flutes growl. Oh, there's nothing there. Flutes, flutes cast. Yeah. And you can have completely different presets for each one. Um, uh, copy and paste I will show you in the grand uh, ensemble patch. Solo, obviously, solo mute. Random. I like random. Let's random it. Random again. What it doesn't random is the length of the region, but it does random what's within the region. Uh, 
that's very cool. Uh, now this little star button here, it, if you want um, a little bit of inspiration or, or rhythms that are commonplace, press that little star button and it'll give you it. Da, 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 da. That's one. I want this one. Press the star again. You want da, da, da. How about do, 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 do. Nice. Uh, uh, da. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, let me load up the the full version once more time. One more time. So, uh, let's go with this one. Let's solo the flutes. Let's edit this one and let's turn you off. Let's make you longer. That's pretty cool. I like that so much. Let's mute the uh, clarinets and bassoons. Oh, I'm going to do that. I just isn't that a cool engine? Anyway, I like this so much. I want the oboes to play exactly the same rhythm as me, please, without dragging and dropping. Copy that button. And then you go to here and you press this one. This is paste. Boom. Just lengthen it. Okay, paste it again because it didn't quite get that. So I'm guessing you have to change the region at the same time. There we go. So it'll basically copy the sequence for you. Isn't that fun? Turn these off. Play full patch. Back to Downton. <laughs> nice. Now, if I don't want to play sequences all across the board, let's turn off the sequences for the flute and the obers. So clarinets and bassoons doing Superman. And you're just playing shorts to your heart's content. I know I'm feeling fairly boring and just doing everything in C, but you know, it's all happy days, isn't it? Yeah, fun. Right now. I mentioned the ranges earlier simply because every now and then I don't want to have instruments bleeding into each other. I want, you know, if I'm down here, I just want the bassoons, or if I'm up there, I want the clarinets. And so, so uh, range sliders kind of important. Uh, if you're like me, let's go, let's do this, let's just range sliders. So, if you're looking around here, just look what I'm doing, I'm trying to get those. So, obviously clarinets let's get you down a bit further oboes up here um and then bassoons oh sorry bassoons all the way down here clarinets a bit high so see what i mean so basically i mean it's not perfect but so this is um so this is be bassoons oh hello that's nice let's go low <laughs> right, clownets. No, over, sorry. Clownets. Yeah? Uh, over. Oh, no, that's. I need to turn the sequence on. Sorry, apologies. Let's push you down because my, my small keyboard is um, being a bit rubbish. Let's push you down an octave, shall we? So let's. I've put. <laughs> okay. So I've put you down. Now, let's go clarinets. Oboes. And then up here, I haven't got eight hands. Now, can you see it's wanting to do triplets because I've, uh, I'm going to push the triplets back up here because I don't really want triplets. Yeah. And if you want to go crazy thinking about transpose, let's just go nuts. Okay, ready? Let's push you down a bit. Okay. 
oh, this just becomes a fun mess. I'm just playing C's and G's. Yeah, if you just want literally a random thing, it would be really cool if there was a random on the transpose, or even the random did random everything, or an option to randomize everything. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's go back to normality. Uh, let's go to Xander's Waltz. So let's uh, make sure that tra my, my transpose is back to normal. <laughs> So, do, if I control click on the range, will it go back to another thing? Oh, it might do. Full range, full range, full range, full range. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so you can have full patch doing absolutely everything. And obviously bassoons, when they're high, they're going to sound thin. But they're still doing everything. Yeah, so that's fairly cool. Um, if there was a... Oh, click. No, no. Uh, if it went back to the preset, that would be quite cool. I think the only way to do back to the factory settings would be to load another instance of it. So let's go back to the instance. There you go, back to that normality, that's fine. Cool, so let's go to the um, mixer page. So, there's an auto mix. This basically makes sure that um, um, it suddenly doesn't jump out at you if it's suddenly um, overloaded with too many instruments. And you can actually even do draw this. So that's quiet, isn't it? It's louder. I think it's safer just to have it back to the Nice little feature. So you have three EQ bands, fairly self-explanatory, that's quite fun. So you have velocity variations here, you have velocity sensitivity. Velocity takeover is basically, um, it um, takes over the velocity you initially played. I think. Um, and it humanize. This is basically humanizing uh, repetitions of velocity in between each, uh, making you sound less consistent, if you like. Um, reverb. Everyone loves the reverb. This is the factory mix. And you have three mics. Close mic. Mid mic. Nice. Far mic. And you can blend all three if you like. And create your own. Let's add more reverb, loads more. A little bit distorty. Wow. It's quite hot. Uh, oh, let's go room size. Cathedral, effectively. Nice. Bright. Turn closes, mids, offs. Haha, <laughs> fun. Um, factory mix. Uh, you go, oh, let's go um, in the ice cave. Let's go bone dry. Ha. Huh. No reverb whatsoever. Uh, dark and distant. That's very nice. Um, you have volume controllers over each and every single one, so I just want my bassoons to play up there. Um, oh, let's um, actually turn these on. And look, they're panned already down here. So my bassoons are on the right, my flute's on the left. Let's turn my flute's up. That's very, very nice. Now let's turn those off and see what the overs and clarinets are doing. Let's turn them up a bit, shall we? Why don't we pan them uh, slightly that way? 
I really liked the oboes and clarinets just in the middle, but a little bit quieter, and the flutes and the bassoons either side on this. Just sounded nice, didn't it? That's nice, isn't it? set is not on for the bassoon. Let's turn you on. Um, I want, what do I want? That one. <laughs> it's separation. I love a bit of separation. Isn't that nice? Um, and that's, a, that's basically it, guys. Let's do a couple more presets in America. Let's go. That's really quite cool. Uh, let's go to the mixer and let's turn them up again. So obviously between presets, the mixer does not change. Let's control click these back to middle and let's go factory mix oh. nice let's do last one b jones one What's that mean? I don't know, but it's funky and excitement. Fab. Um, let's make it more dramatic. So obviously when you're recording yourself, make sure you quantize yourself playing otherwise it gets can get a little bit messy so fab um right uh my favorite thing to do randomize everything now because we're randomizing everything let's do the panny thing like that i think that's fun isn't that fun and let's go in the ice cave the reverb settings change these okay they just do that's uh, from the podium yeah so they change those that's fine um that's what i can do turn the mics on that's more fun <laughs> change my range so I'm going to change my oboe range just a bit lower and my semi clarinets as well so I've got a bit more flute up panned <laughs> good um lots of fun to be had so um kinetic uh, woodwinds motion engine uh, should we just play with all three bear with me I'm going to put them all up so here we go so I've put woodwinds low ram kinetic strings low ram um, kinetic brass um, I didn't couldn't find my low ram for some reason um, but anyway uh, as a giggle here we are Superman 2 all together go <laughs> is kind of hot. Let's turn it down. Orchestra. Fun. Motion. Anyway, um, there we go. Kurt Cantor Trilogy. 
So if you need uh, an orchestral motion thing to spice up your cue, ah, there you go. Action, fun, superhuman. With the woodwinds, it's quite no lady and all that. So if you like what I do, if you like watching me play with stuff, please do like, please subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the future. In the meantime, Kirk Hunter, salute you, makes me smile. Any instrument that makes me smile, big thumbs up. So stay well, stay safe, everybody. See you very, very soon for some more nonsense of some, some description. Take care. Bye.